She, now we're starting? Now we're starting. I think we're good now, Jeff. Don't put any other stuff in there. Now, d what are you doing now? I'm pulling it so I can see the fucking levels, bitch. All right, all right. She, we just had a rough start. Tim fumbled all over the place. Well, they don't even he need to tell He kept dropping everything. It was I embarrassing. They don't even know that we had a rough start, uh, Jeffrey. But I'm tough. Well, I mean, Jeff Sheen, your host of Tough Questions with his co-host, Tim McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Who uh, who is just fumbling the bag already? And yeah, here so I'm fumbling the bag. Look at the microphone that you brought for our guest to use. With our guest here, Matt Backus. Hello. You brought him a microphone that was like a it's like a toy. Yeah, for it's a, a toy child. microphone. It looks like you unplugged it from a karaoke machine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one of those microphones where they're like on TV. They're like, have you ever wanted to be on the radio? <laughs> yeah, you can do it like that. That's how it feels. Yeah, you're our make a wish gift. This thing's plugged into a can of Coke. Yeah. Yes, I'm plugged in. Yeah, what the hell? You're our little brother with an unplugged remote controller. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm winning. Yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, look at him! Look at him podcasting. He's doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Matt, a long time listener, first time guest, knows what the deal is. True. Knows the deal is listen to almost every episode. Every episode, I think. Oh, you've listened to every. Have you listened to every episode? Every, I think there's a couple I skipped. Wow. Would you skip? Uh, I can't say. All right, all right. All the women guests. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It's just my enemies. Give me your, oh, yeah. give me your top three. Top uh, three episodes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, guest episodes. Oh, that's tough. I don't know. I yeah, mean, first tough question, I guess. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, know. that is I a tough. I thought you were going to ask him his top three enemies. Coming out with the hot ones. No. Um, I don't know. Brent Sagalos was good. Sagalos. Uh, I, I, I can't put him in order, but Sagalos was good. No um, Graham Kays was good. Oh, Graham. Uh, Graham's was good. Graham was in a bad mood because we had to use all of his equipment. Yeah, the most yeah. disrespected guest yeah. we had. Bobby, yeah, Bobby Conan was good. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's some of them really, really, I mean, laugh out loud funny. Oh, yeah. Bobby will yeah. always be good because yeah. he, I mean, the man, he just knows how to shout. Yeah, he's good. You no, know? he loves you. And if shouting isn't funny, then I don't know what is. Oh, I know that's brother. right. She's Micah texted me today. She said the David Drake episode was great. Oh, that oh, was another good one? Yeah. Because... Yeah, she listened to it. Yeah. That might be my favorite episode because uh, he and I are both fans of the show, so we have talked about it at CYSK before about how much we love the show. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow. that might be my favorite one. Michael, when did Michael listen to David Drake's episode? Today, I said. Why did she wait so long? It's been out for uh, for months. She's a busy woman. Well, tell her to catch up. She's also been listening to murder books on tape. This she th <laughs> she's found this like lady yeah. who writes about this female detective who's always catching serial killers. Oh, okay. Oh, a lady detective? Yeah, it sounds... Must be fiction. I know. <laughs> sounds fucking stupid. I'm like, oh, wait, and she drives, too? A okay. fantasy book? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, she, she trying to catch wizards? <laughs> I go, what's she detecting? A sale at the mall? <laughs> Oh. oh, boy. Oh, no. Matt, hold your microphone to your, your little microphone. Now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're going to laugh and riff, do it your little toy microphone. <laughs> I feel like I'm li like eating a lollipop every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lick the microphone. All right, so you know, I got a whole bunch of questions for Matt that I wrote uh, earlier, but we had to change everything around. What? So. Yeah, wait, what? They well, could... We were going to have Matt on before, but we had to move the time, right? Yeah, so why'd you have to change the... The questions. You mean, oh, you mean earlier in the oh okay. in a week we yeah. were doing this. We had to do this on Monday. Yeah. So this is just the questions changed. Yeah, yeah, the questions changed. Oh man, oh, yeah. no! I, I revisited it. I'm like, oh. This one's not. This one's not harsh uh, enough. Oh boy, oh. I'm ready. Um. All right. First question. Oh no. I want to know. We want to know. You yourself may not even know. <laughs> What uh, the hell? Let's see. Why? Why do you? What? Do you put the microphone down so people can see you. What is? They can wrong? see me right here. You're like snuzzling up to it, and that's what people like. Snuzzling. Yeah, they like it when I snuzzle. Well, you're snuzzling it, bitch. Oh yeah. Well, why don't you unplug everything and fumble the bag again? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I wasn't late. <laughs> my, 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 oh, the level. My man learned the phrase "fumble the bag" on the way here. I, I googled it. He's trying to look at. He's yeah. trying to wedge it in. Jeff's All like, right. look at me in my hoodie and my. Brussled up hair. I'm like a Brussled? child. This man's making up words. Yeah, right. Snuzzled and brussled. He's you... like, I got a Chalamet hair working. <laughs> People like Chalamet, you yeah. dolt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you this. This is why I like the I podcast. Watched, I watched that dude. You dolt. 
<laughs> He's been calling people Dolt since <laughs> that. Somebody's been reading these old detective books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Dolt. <laughs> I was watching, I watched that Dune too, you know? Yeah. This Shadow Man, he's not tough enough to be the main guy, I don't think. <laughs> he didn't have to be. He's like, he too gay by half, I He's say. the worm wrangler. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'd let him wrangle my I worm. Did, I dated a worm wrangler once. Yeah, yeah. worm <laughs> wranglers are never big. Yeah. Man, a worm wrangler will be taking all your shit and burning your clothes when she's mad at you, though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I've dated a Puerto Rican. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Did you agree with my assessment that I am so fade? Uh, yes, me and me and friend of the show Shane Torres went to go see it. Friend of the show and known bully Shane Torres and yeah, I known bully. went to go see it. And uh, and the, when the guy was when they were like, he's a psycho psychotic maniac. Shane goes, yep, that's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Before I went to see it, I texted him. I was like, I, I'm fade. Like, Who's that? I was like, you'll see. <laughs> He's all buff and he kills people and he's a fighter guy. Ooh. Jeff's like him in the way that he's a weirdo, but all the other no, parts no, are no, like the Jeff. cool fighting part. Um, all right, first question, uh, Matt. Why so many tattoos? Oh. Mm. And what do you want them to say about you? What are you covering up? <laughs> yeah. Um, I got one tattoo okay. and I really, it's true what they say. I got one tattoo and then I got kind of addicted to it and I just started seeing empty space and oh. I was like, well, I like to fill in these empty spaces. And then it just kind of grew from there. I always thought they looked cool. Okay. Um, hates empty space. You don't like a blank canvas. Yeah. 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 Um, right. and I don't, I don't really care what they say about me. I don't know. I don't really, I have my tattoos are all kind of hidden. Yeah. Um, so nobody sees them unless I want them to. And that's kind of the thing I like about them is I have my legs all tattooed. I got a ch- tattoo of my chest, but nobody knows I have them unless I want them to know. And for me, that's kind of the fun of it. Cause a lot of people get tattoos and there's nothing wrong with this, but they get tattoos and they want to show them all off. You I like keep yours hidden. I kind of like that. It's kind of fun. It's kind of right. like a personal thing for me. I'll eventually I'll probably get, you know, my arms tattooed and I have a tattoo on my finger, but for so now you keep them hidden. So real, I mean, what you want them to say about you, you only show it to people you care about. So I guess it's you're in. Kind of, yeah. So see these Lucky tattoos. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made it in. That's right. You're in my inner sanctum That's now. That's right. Unless I... you have Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Tim, that's what? ruining the man's... <laughs> yeah, he do be showing his whole ass on Instagram. Yeah, and it is tattooed up. It yeah. is tattooed <laughs> up. The inside and everything. All right, so uh, I'll just write down my body is yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wants them to say. He disrobes. Yeah. <laughs> these are yours. I just do this and my arm, my clothes just fall off. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I got these tattoos to reveal myself to you. Yeah. What? I got my chest tattooed, and now I'm like, well, I got to get underneath here, and then I have to get it my stuff. You know, it really is just like a, well, it looks, this looks good, but then it could be more. You ever going to touch the face? Uh, no, probably not. Don't I doubt it. I would do the neck. Before, <gasps> I mean, you're gonna do the neck? No, not. I mean, not now. Depending if my career goes somewhere, or you know, I don't know what the future holds. I don't want to limit myself. That's another reason I have my tattoos kind of hidden, is because I don't want to limit myself with tattoos. Oh. I, I just think for me personally, that it's like I gotta, you know, try and get all the opportunities I can get. And if someone's gonna give me an opportunity, and they are like, well, this guy has tattoos we have to cover, and this guy doesn't, I think they're gonna go with the guy that doesn't. So let's say you made it. Tattoos all over the place? Oh, I mean, if, I, if I'm if i successful, I, I would love to get the tops of my hands tattooed. I would love to get my like a tattoo here on my neck. I already know what I would Whoa. get. What are you going to get on your neck? There's... Uh, 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 wait, hold on. Okay, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, he's thinking of something funny. It's going to be good. It's <laughs> Rev be really up the good. machine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no on. job application for me, please. Oh, jeez. That's what you thought of? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Listen. A whole phrase? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Can you lift your chin? No job. It app. starts at the back. <laughs> yeah, all the way around. I go like this, I have to turn. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, don't move. Yeah. Well what what is it? What is your what's the real answer? The death uh the death's head moth. Have you seen that? It's oh, like Oh, from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, oh. yeah. I think that would look cool like right here. Uh, I think that'd be cool. Mm, no. <laughs> no, this is what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Oh, I got it. I got one too. A right microphone. Oh, this uh, microphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That one? There you go. Uh, yeah, and then like ha ha ha. Yeah. All around your gin yeah. as you tell jokes. Oh, oh that's funny. Into your microphone. That's good. Oh my uh, god, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get a dotted line that says "cut here." Oh yeah. no. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, you should get on your chest. You should get a big tattoo of me and me and Sheen. Holding I already got hands. a tattoo on my chest. All right. Well, under it, you should get a big tattoo of me and Sheen holding hands. That would be nice. <laughs> oh, that is a that is kind of a traditional tattoo. I would get on the back of my neck. It's two hands like shaking hands. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Could you somehow make it our hands? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Jeff's, yeah. Can you make Jeff's hand black and we can cancel him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it like yeah, exactly. No. We should both scar our hands in a unique way. My hands are scarred to shit. No, they're not. Let me see. I got scars everywhere. I mean I just got that one. Look at that. That looks like a cigarette That's a burn. Dot. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, well, it was a burn. This one, this scar is from where I almost fucking bled to death. Out of your, your thumb? thumb? You have an artery in your thumb, and oh, I cut the artery up. in my thumb. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I Tim was, was passing out on a sidewalk. My thumb! <laughs> I was bleed. I was My artery thumb! I was putting blinds together, and I uh, cut the artery. Blinds. I cut the artery in my thumb, and then I duct taped it, and it bled through the duct tape, and I had to go to the hospital, and I was going to just glue it closed, but the doctor was like, you cut the artery in your thumb. If you glued it closed, your hand would fill with blood, and you would die. It would just oh, balloon yeah. up like a cartoon. Yeah, it would just keep filling up in, with more And more you'd be blood. like, hell yeah, look at my big hand. Yeah. 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 Go on slapping yeah. people I'll with be it. I'd be like, look at my hand jiggle, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like a big cartoon hand with yeah. a white glove on it. It's like yeah. when Mickey Mouse fills his gloves with water. <laughs> They call me pimp bloody hands. <laughs> um, I slap my bitches with my big blood hand. All right. Ew, your big blood hand? <laughs> yeah, because I'm the bloody hand the pimp. <laughs> and if my girls get out of line, I give them one from my big heavy blood hand. Yeah. You are stupid. Jeff now. uses his, his big crip hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, well, tattoo that big bloody hand and me shake it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see. What are three thoughts that come to mind when you see your own reflection? Well, it depends on what kind of day I'm having. Some days I'm like, you're doing okay. Oh, okay. Some days I'm like, you look good. Your hair looks good. Your teeth are clean. You look good. Okay. Uh, and some days I feel bad. All right. Mm. Uh, give, me a, give me a good day and then a bad day. It's a uh, good day. Oh, See today's a good day. Morning mirror time. What do you think? Oh. Three, three thoughts. Uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, I think today's going to be a good day. All right, all right. Uh, I think you're doing better than you think you are. Oh, that's good. Um, and the third thing would be, I don't know, you know, uh, way to, way to, way, yeah, I don't know. Like the last year has been, I've been working very hard to improve myself. So I think the third thing would just be like, you're, you know, like I said, you're doing a good job. I don't know. Uh, it's, improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improvement. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the, give me just one bad one. None of this is working. Dad, a bad day. I look in the mirror and I go, none of this is working. Oh no! <laughs> I go, my hair is falling out. My teeth are like look dirty. Oh god! I, you can't even tell that I work out. Oh. Your tattoos are gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all, all his tattoos are making fun of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The eagles laughing at me. <laughs> You're just in there. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. I hate those days. Yeah. But, all right, yeah, good day. I like, yeah, doing better than you think you are. That's you ever, pretty good. You That's ever hear this? You know, you know what? I, I think this was on Curb Your Enthusiasm, but it kind of shook me. Uh, uh, what's funny about <laughs> Oh, yeah, is that it's funny? It's funny where you say it's on Curb Your Enthusiasm, but it kind of shook me. Well, wait till I say it. It's going to blow your fucking mind. Yeah, hold all on. All right. A uh, mirror is how mirrors and photos are different in that mirrors are how uh, you see yourself, but a photo is how other people see you. Oh, oh yes, that was on curb. Yeah, that I never thought good. about that, and yeah. that's like crazy because oh, really? sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, "That's what I look like," and then I see myself in a in a picture and I'm like, "Oh no!" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, I mean? love a mirror. Yeah, a mirror is great. Don't like a photo. Yeah, a photo. I'm like, oh no, and mm -hmm. that's bad because photos are probably real and mirrors are fake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true, and that's not good. Imagine Rachel Dole is all. Looking into the mirror, being like, "What a strong black woman!" That's right, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then looking at a photo, and everyone's like, "This lady's white," and she's like, "Who's that white woman?" Yeah, I don't recognize her. How did you finagle in a racial dolls all reference? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, yeah. just did it. My man's know? a magician. I'm just like, "What a no." I mean, it's, you look in, you see what you want to see. I was trying to do a thing where I was black, and then I was like, "That actually happened." Yeah. And that's what reminded me of it. You like your mirror photo? You like your mirrors? Uh, yeah. The mirror is better than the photo. I was watching a video of me, and I was like, wow. Fat. Oh, no. <laughs> what a fat, ugly, fat zone. That's why it's weird when I go out some places sometimes. I'm a big... I, I'll take a selfie in a mirror, and uh, if I like my, my fit, I'll take a fit pic in the mirror. And the, the mirror, I'm like, this is great. And then I take the pic, and I'm like, it's all gone wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's no way, because you do the photo in the mirror, 
It's the issue is the eyes. Yeah, yeah. They're dead. They're yeah. not alive or moving. Mm-hmm. So you just see where you're looking and frozen. Well, a lot of times I'll cover my face with the phone. Oh, or, yeah. A lot of people do yeah. that. My oh, eyes yeah. still have a gleam of light inside of them. Yeah, right. But I shine so fucking bright. You got shark eyes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> They're dark as hell. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see. What about this one? Moving on. What is something you wish your dad said to you? Hey, I'm back. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Damn. Yeah. Damn. Tim, what the fuck is... I'm on today. Yeah. 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 I thought you were off of that Rachel Dole's all I thought that was pretty good. Okay. Sound off in the comments about the Rachel Dolezal thing. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, he's got to pull back so he can shoot forward the hot one like yeah, that. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? He winds up. I don't know. You know, my he apologized. And I guess I think a lot of people would be like, I'd like to hear an apology. And he did apologize. Okay, so, so that's covered. I think that's good. So um, I don't know. You know, I don't know if there's something I would like to hear my dad say. I just feel like I wish my dad and I could connect better. Uh I feel like we just don't are never going to connect. Really. Oh, okay. And I, I just don't know what that is and why. You know, we, it's it's or not in the way that I want to connect. I guess. Um, so I don't know if there's anything I want him to say. I mean, he says he tells me he's proud of me, which is good. Um, says all the right stuff. So, yeah, says he loves me and all that, which is good. So then you need to, you need to say something that could help connect with you. But we talk about sports and we connect on things, but it just doesn't ever. I just don't think that's it's, we're never gonna. It's never gonna. What if, what if he's like, check out this parlay? Oh, he doesn't yeah. know what a parlay is. I have to tell. I have he, to teach him. But what if he did? Wouldn't you be like, oh no, we're connected? Yeah. No, what if you? No. Use, no. What if I'm you, a better gambler than him. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him what a good parlay is. I send him my my betting slips sometimes, and he's like, that's great. And oh that, yeah. And that feels good. It feels. And we talk about sports. Like he filled out a March Madness bracket, and so we do connect on things. But it's just not in the way. I just think that after all that happened when I grew up, it's like we're never gonna be. Where I wish we, why could be, where some, where I see some people are with their dads, but I'm really close with my mom, so it's like, what are you gonna, you know? Take so her, it's like a pick. superficial connection, like everyone has with Jeff. There's nothing deep to it. I mean, yeah, probably, I guess you could put it that way. Yeah. So you want? I, mean, I love my dad, but I just wish I, you know. So let's see I wish that. he hadn't left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna write down. Wish I hadn't left. All right, there you go. How's that? Huh? That's fine. That's why you can say that. Yeah, I wish fine. I hadn't left. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there you go. That's good. Put sad face emoji. All right, sad face emoji. And I'll put a uh, box of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> They're smoking. They're smoking cigarettes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so I know you're a Soberman. Yep. Thanks for help. You helped me a lot in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Tim? What? What do you think of that? I'm probably, I helped somebody. I, I think that that's a nice first for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a helper. But what is one more thing that uh, you need to let go of to reach your full potential? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I've worked really hard on a lot of things. I worked really... <clears throat> Excuse me. I worked really hard on. I've been working really hard on like anger. I'm not as angry as I used to be. I think that kind of helped. Sobriety helped me deal with a lot of anger, mm-hmm. which is good. Um, I yeah. I don't know. You know, I, something I need to let go of. I feel like uh, I talked about this in therapy. Um, but I had a sister. I don't. I haven't talked about this a lot. This is exclusive. Really? Yeah. Oh, we got a TQ exclusive coming yeah. up. T- tough questions. Ooh, exclusive. Doesn't talk about it. This is a thing that I've not talked about to, uh, to a lot of people. A lot of people don't even know this, but I had a twin sister who died. And what? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, I don't talk about it. Holy smoke. Yeah. Exclusive. It truly is an exclusive. So I had a twin sister who died, and I feel like I did, my whole life, I feel like there's been a weight uh, of like survivor's guilt and just the thought of her and I'm not living my life well enough and I'm here and she's not here and I have all these issues with that and so I just feel like that's like the big thing I need to work on and I think that's going to take my whole life to deal with but when did she die she was she died like at birth basically oh, 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 oh. so uh, but it's still it's one of those things where it's like I my, I don't know my mom fought really hard to have kids and then I was the one that got out and sometimes I hate being here and I feel guilty for that <laughs> Like, oh. You know what I mean? Like, right, yeah, sometimes yeah. I was like this fucking sucks. Oh, I don't survivor's I, guilt. Yeah, maybe she would like it here because this fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, God, I hate being alive. <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. I'm like, well, I'm the one that's alive and she's not, so I should fucking figure it out and be glad to be here. Oh, oh. So I got all these issues with that. So I think, and I guess I think it's gonna take me my my whole life to figure that out because I've been struggling with that 
since I was a kid. You feel like you got to live for two. A little bit, yeah. And I got to, you know, I got to, yeah, so. Oh, all right. Living for two. Shout out to Morgan. Shout out Morgan. Was it going to be Morgan and Matt? Yeah. Oh, what a fun little name for oh, them. M&M's because they're so delicious. Yeah, M&M's. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you got some survivor's guilt there. I could see that. So if you let go of that. Yeah, it's the guilt holding you back. I don't think it's holding me back. Cut I just think guilt it's, back. it's painful. But on the bright side, you're from like a white trash part of Indiana. Your sister could have gotten pregnant at 14 and ruined her, do- and ruined her life. <laughs> if you think about it that way. <laughs> that's true. Think about it that way. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. My dead sister could have lived and been a whore. <laughs> 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 I never thought about it like that. Like, what a, kind of stuff what a crazy be. stretch. <laughs> yeah, at least she's not alive. Yeah, whore. yeah I guess it's better to be dead than be a whore. You're right, Jesus Tim. Jesus Christ, Tim. Thank you. You could have a 20-year-old niece or nephew right now. Yeah. Oh, that'd be terrible. You're right. That'd be terrible. My They're sister's working. alive. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Honestly, Tim, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Well, it's not and that this she's is alive. what I was trying to get you to think. <laughs> No, every birthday I think about her. I think about her every birthday. I think about her all the time. Well, you got to call Tim now and he'll help you. you Yeah. I'd be like, listen, it could have been, this could have been a terrible birthday. (laughs) At least you can have a kid. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I've I've been in this office all day. Yeah. Good Lord. All right. Let's see here. Stewing being a bad guy. Yeah. What are five cities you want to visit before you cook? Before you croak. Before I cook. Before you cook. Before you... Let the kid cook. Let him, let him I'm cook. dying and they're just yelling, let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. I'm like, uh, um, I like. I would like to go to Japan. Uh, oh, Japan. I'd like to go to That's Tokyo. I'd, I'd like to go to Tokyo. Oh, okay. There's cities in Tokyo. I like Tokyo. Oh, you got Tokyo? I'd like to go to Tokyo. I'd like to go to London. Uh, I'd like to go to Dubai. Oh, oh, Dubai. Um, Why is that? Cause, uh, show them what freedom feels yeah, like. Yeah, I was going to say, because women can't drive. Yeah, I want to go, go shoot an AK-47 into the desert. Oh, sure, <laughs> You sure. can do that in Vegas. Yeah, it's not the, <laughs> it's not the same, though. Um, um, all right, Dubai. Uh, I'd like to go to, uh, Poz, uh, po- I don't know how to say it, Poznaz, Poland. What? Yeah, oh, look it up. I know, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What is it? I don't, know, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it either. Poznans? Yeah, that's how it's spelled. I don't know how to say it. I'm not Polish. What is it? Is that their main city? No, it's just a city in Poland. Why do you want to go there? I it's got my probably reasons. pronounced Sheshkovashkal. I got my reasons. Yeah, what are your reasons? <laughs> I, private. What's there? Private reasons. Is it a big whore town? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. My sister would never live there. <laughs> No, it's not a. Yeah. No, right, listen, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> that was a lot. It was fucked up of me to say. We're too good of friends. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> if she was here, she could have been a whore. <laughs> listen, this is the problem Look. When, when I have friends on because I'll say whatever I want and then it's horrible. But I know that we'll still be friends. And don't, I don't worry about me. You better just hope my mom never sees this because she's going to be very disappointed. Yeah, she'll be like, Jesus Yeah, Christ. She's going to be one of the worst days of her life. And Tim's like, well, what if? Listen, <laughs> Matt's mom. That? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Matt, Matt's mom, you're right. I don't apologize to Matt. Matt is a bitch. <laughs> but I'm, oh, very so- double down. I'm very sorry to you oh, wow. and to your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's going to mean a lot to her. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a poet. Man, no we one got can... one more city. One more yeah, city. One more city. Uh, I'd like to go to um, a, some uh, any city in Australia. I don't really care where. Perth. City. Perth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one. yeah. Perth would be good. You want to do Perth? Yeah, let's go Perth. Oh, Perth. Oh, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> relapse drinks some VB beers. Yeah. You said relapse? Yeah, relapse in oh, Australia. Have no. a VB beer. Oh. If you go there. We'll have to put you on Perth control. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> There's a... Uh... have a Perth defect. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, died at Perth. <laughs> no, that's worse. that's worse than what he said. Yeah. Yeah. It was low hanging. It was like yeah. really bad. Like, like Holy yeah. smokes. I think, we, I think we got a name for the episode. <laughs> hey, you're off the hook. <laughs> There's a bar in Australia in the middle of the Australian desert. It's like the most remote bar in the world. Really? Yeah, you could... There's a hotel and there's a bar next to it and you like stay at the hotel and then get fucked up at the bar. No, I, oh. 
I, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's. I watched a whole YouTube video of these guys going there. It looked fun as hell. I think I'd rather go to Cusco, Peru. I take Perth off the map. You no more Perth. Perth. Yeah. Cusco, Peru. Cusco. All right. Peru. My first girlfriend in New York was from Peru. Oh, and you want to oh. track her down? Yeah. <laughs> she lives here. Yeah. Oh, I thought you got deported. I'll Matt go. Called her in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You break up with me? Hold on right there. I found you. Yeah. He's going on a safari. Hey, Ice. Yeah, this girl broke up with me. I'm pretty sure she's illegal. I was born in the Bronx. Shut up. <laughs> I live in Sunnyside. <laughs> and that's a problem. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, what about this one? Speaking of ladies and finding your lost love in Cusco, Peru, <laughs> uh, are you ready to settle down? Why or why not? Uh, no, I am not. Oh, he's oh, not. Why not? Still, still sowing his wild oats. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. I don't. That's not necessarily it. I, oh, I, I, I don't think. I think my, my oats are pretty tamed. Oh, yeah. um, oh. But I just think I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be. That's the thing that I learned in sobriety is it's like I'm not ready to be a partner yet. I'm not ready to be a boyfriend or a husband or a good partner. And so that's what I'm working on. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm not ready for that reason. Not ready. Yeah. I gotta work. I gotta do more work on myself. All right, still needs work on self. Yeah, we gotta work on yourself before you can allow others in. Yeah, my last relationship, I was not a good partner, and uh, so I don't want to do that again. Oh, do you yeah. think you're gonna get canceled? What? I don't know. No. <laughs> well, because he wasn't a good partner. Yeah. <laughs> Were you gaslighting? No. Oh. You can't gaslight these women. They One time we got into a fight though, kids. and I go, "You're gaslighting me," and she goes, "You don't even know what gaslighting is." Oh, yeah. I think that's gaslighting. Yes, I'm pretty that's sure that's that gaslighting. Yeah. Here's gaslighting. the thing. This is real. What? Women are always gaslighting. They're constantly doing it because uh -oh. they're constantly telling Because yeah. they're constantly telling you you don't know what gaslighting is. And I'm like, but I pretty they're always first of all lying about what you did, which is <laughs> gaslighting, and then gaslighting yeah. you because Micah does it to me constantly. Oh no. It's <laughs> like you did this and this. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but I can't. I'm kind of I can't prove it. I'm yeah. kind of stupid, so I don't know. And then so then I'll be like, actually, I didn't. She's like, you're gaslighting me. And I'm like, am I? I don't know. And then it just is a sufficient. And then you admit cycle. it and she rubs her hands together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why she sleeps so soundly at night. <laughs> <laughs> so you're always getting gaslit. Oh, brother. Uh, we could the run, the we, stove is always on. We could run a city block. <laughs> Oh, he a damn city block oh. with the amount of gas that's lit up in my place. I like how you tried to throw Matt under the bus by asking if he got canceled for gaslighting. <laughs> yeah. So you could just shoehorn another Tim bit in <laughs> yeah. here. <laughs> Listen, man, you want me to be the co-host or not? Yeah, you got it. See, so you, you're not you're not ready yet. You got to work on yourself. What do you think you'll be ready? What What do you got to fix first? Yeah. More, more tattoos? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Six, seven more I tattoos. got my chest tattooed, and I said, well, that wasn't it. Yeah, once, that wasn't once one. The neck comes in. Yeah, no, He's that's ready. not the one. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I just know that I don't feel it. And maybe you'll never, maybe I'll never feel it. And maybe that's what I have to learn is that you never feel it. You just have to eventually do it. But I don't know. At the time, now I don't feel it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you ever do feel it. Yeah. Mm. I got think? a feeling. Well, you're in a thing. Well, you that think? I'm gonna be alone all my life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think that. Yeah. Uh, all right, you got it out of the way. Answer my question. What was your question? I was doing my song. What do you do? You think you know it, or do you just think you never know it and just have to jump in at either way? Well, I think what you're I think, in. I'm in. You're in too. Can you I'm tell it's going in. great? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jeff's thing is not gonna last, but <laughs> I'm I'm in. But I. I think you have to find uh -huh. i think this is how it always goes everyone is crazy okay right oh, go yeah. off yeah yeah here comes tim's words of wisdom but you have to just find a crazy person who matches well with your type of crazy <laughs> so like i'm an insane person and i you know and micah is also very insane much more insane than me yeah and oh, yeah, a yeah. gaslighting piece of shit to be yeah, quite yeah, honest yeah, and right, uh yeah. But that works for us. Mm -hmm. So that's we, true. If you can compliment each other, we that. work together well. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So what if you didn't? You answer just my question? have to keep your. You have to just stay open until you find the person that you feel compliments your craziness. So do you know, or do you just go in without knowing? Do you have to wait till you know? You gotta take chances. You don't always know. You gotta take chances. Sometimes you find the person. Sometimes you don't, and then you gotta break up. I just I feel like both people have to you grow together. That's the point I think of a relationship is to grow together. And you you don't have to grow at the same rate, but you both got to grow. 
And there are some people I've met, like I met, I matched with this woman the other, I'm, I got back on uh, the dating apps and I matched with this woman on the dating app the other day and she was like, if you're sober, what do you do on a first date? And it's like, that already for me is like, I'm out. It's like, you, you can't even wrap your mind around a sober person and how they would live a life. It's like, I don't have time to explain this to you and teach you this. You know what oh, I mean? Like yeah. stuff like that where I'm like, that's not going to be it. Things like that where I'm like, we're on a different place in our lives and yeah. I've, uh, I've dated people when I wasn't sober. I dated people that were ahead, and that's why they broke up with me. I think is because we just weren't on the same. So you don't have to be on the same page, but you have to be close. Yeah, yeah. all right, that makes sense. I don't have time to teach you about sobriety. Is what I mean. You if know what I mean? Like I can't message me. They're like, "What do you do on a first date when you're sober?" I would have written, "Fuck." And then winky face and also devil guy emoji. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're then, you're a good dater. Yeah, I'm a good I'm a good texter. <laughs> I've I've only met up with one woman off dating apps, and I've messaged a lot of them. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. I would go on several dates, and I'd always get a kiss. Jeff, oh, oh I've heard. I yes. always get my kiss, <laughs> even if the date goes bad, because they're lucky to be there with Jeff. Did you do, do you know his theory? Because he looks so weird. Uh-huh. That they have to be attracted to him, so they're lucky to be there with him. Mm-hmm. I think you're good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, lucky me. And I'm like, I'm sure you want your kiss. <laughs> yes. And I always get my kiss. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to kiss. Yeah. yeah. You, you know? kiss and you go, mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope, you know, all right. I'll uh, think about the, the it. The kisses sustain me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just need a little little present at the end of the date. Matt, how young... <laughs> Matt, how young are you setting setting these dating apps to? Do you think that might be a little bit of the problem here? No. What, are you, what is this guy trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Trying to get in trouble this whole episode. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Tim's after you. Did yeah. you wrong him some? I think, I think there's, it's set from like 27 or 26 to 40 something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've always liked older women. Yeah, yeah. I had a weird, I had a weird, uh, weird realization recently. Is I used to do this as a bit on stage, but it's like dating older women is awesome because none of their shit is broken. All the, and I don't mean I just mean like you go over to their apartment and they have like heated mattress pads and they have good oh, nice. and their oh, yeah. apartments are so nice. nice. I remember moving to Brooklyn being 24 and hooking up with like 30 year olds and I'm just a disgusting 24 year old and I go to their apartments and they're like feeding me avocados and like yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. awesome. And now I'm kind of that guy where like I have my shit together and I go I went on a date with this 26 year old and she came back to my apartment and she was like, "Do you have a heated mattress pad?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "That's so nice." Uh, oh, and I'm like, and oh shit! The curb because she's a piece of shit that doesn't understand you. No, you know you got to give people a chance to learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is your chance to learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now, and when, and now when she's in her 30s, she'll invite a boy over or a woman or yeah. whoever wow. over and have a heated mattress pad, and the cycle continues. Wow, it's like a bidet, you know. <laughs> this mm-hmm. is your chance to learn. Very, but inclusive. unfortunately, you did not. <laughs> Uh, good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put a pill over her head. <laughs> Here's um, a mint. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, let's see. What is a climbing pet peeve? Uh, climbing pet peeve. Um, You're a climber. You love climbing the rocks. I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, rock yeah. climbing. It's true. I do. Um, a climbing pet peeve is I don't like it. It's called in 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 climbing. It's called beta spraying, and I don't like it because I feel like I'm not. When a, I come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I alpha spray, you beta spray. Dear Lord. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, and you'd be like, oh. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's but, right there. I couldn't help but it. But beta is what it's called when you like, the beta is how to solve a, a problem. So when you're rock climbing, they're called problems. Like, uh, And beta is when you explain how to do the problem, so you explain the moves. And so I don't like it when people are like, this is what you got to do. And it's like, I know more than you. I'm probably better at this than you are. I don't look big and I don't, I'm not big. I don't look strong, but I'm a really good climber. So like these muscly bros will come over and try and be like, this is what you got to do. Oh, beta splaining? It's beta spray. Spray. It's, it's, spraying spraying it's just you're spraying words, words at people being like, this oh. is what you got to do. And it's like, I didn't ask for this. It happens obviously more to women. Um, oh, like sure. when I would climb with my girlfriend, unsolicited dudes would be like, you got to do this. And it's like, 
oh, this is just a guy that wants to feel superior and feel important, so he's going to come over here. And he's also trying to holler at your bitch, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As they always were. She oh, was hot. Um, she was hot. She was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we we'll all agree on it. <laughs> yeah, hey, nobody's gonna argue. Yeah. But so yeah, I don't like that. That really bothers me when dudes are like, "I know more than you, so let me help you." And it's like, I, I'm, I you think I'm. You get sprayed too. Sometimes, yeah. Really. Especially at like the broier gyms, like Vital, dudes will come over and be like, "This is what you gotta do." And it's like, I are fucking they hollering at you. Yeah, I, no, I think no, I think they're trying to like they're trying to talk down to me and they're trying to like belittle and like, oh. which is like you I don't. They're not just trying to help you. I think they're trying to help, but it's not in a. It's not in that way. Like they are trying to probably help, but it's more for them than it is for me. Mm, you know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, which is like I don't. I don't give anybody any climbing advice unless they want it. I always ask, "Would you like me to?" You know, I, I try and be mindful of that because part of the fun is also figuring it out. I don't want somebody to just be like, "Do this, this, and this," and you're done. It's like, all right, well, thank you for ruining this for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a puzzle you want to solve on your own. Yeah, and I don't want. I don't. I just don't like that whole alpha competitive. I don't give a fuck if you're if you can climb. I'm here to do this on my own. This is an individual thing. Leave me alone. That's okay. why I climb with headphones in. I don't talk to people. You never beta spray anybody. I I don't unless they ask for it or unless they're trying to work on something. And you know, I always am like, "Would you like to know?" I don't just walk up to people and be like, oh. "This is what I got to do." Oh, I wish I, I wish this podcast came with homework. I'd give you one week of beta spray. What? Just, Why? Just to see what it feels like, you know? Maybe uh, it probably out. feels good. I'm yeah, everybody all of a sudden Matt starts bullying us. You know, yeah. What'd you say? Just pushing Tim over. Don't push In the me po- over. a lot of middle of the chest pokes. Yeah, poking a lot of middle <laughs> of the chest, a whole Oh Matt's a he's a bully now. Yeah. I, my hips and shoulders and stuff are bad. I cannot be getting pushed over. <laughs> I don't feel I'm not the most confident, but when I'm doing comedy and when I'm rock climbing, I I know what I'm doing. That's when you're in your in your. That's when I'm in my element. You think Tim could climb? Yeah, and everybody can climb. Yeah, give him a look though. Yeah, not right Tim, now. <laughs> you could climb right now. I know, I know, I could climb right now, but it would not like do a good job. I I used to climb all the time. Everybody really? can climb. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I used to do it back in the day. When Bacchus and I first met, I was rock climbing all the time. You used to climb. Yeah. What a mountain of donuts. Well, Jeff, <laughs> this was another time. And I'll tell you this. The answer is, I don't need to climb that mountain of donuts. I sit at the bottom and I eat them all, brother. <laughs> he get the ones that roll down the hill. Also, also, everybody, this is a Tim McLaughlin don't. Don't get the donut. new churro donut from Duncan. It's not very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got it today. mid most of the donuts at Dunkin' Donuts are bad. Dunkin' Donuts is bad. Wrong. Krispy <laughs> Kreme is better. Krispy yeah. Kreme is superior donut-wise, but they don't have iced coffee. They only have hot coffee at Krispy Kreme. So today you got yourself a nice coffee and a donut. Yeah. I mean, just gets a donut on a Wednesday. I love it. Hey, I was I, on I, my way to work. I, I, ate, I ate two Krispy Kremes today, so you're and I are not, not so different. See, my man got two donuts today, bitch. Yeah, what did you eat? Yeah. Well, what I mean, did you, you eat You climbing off later tonight. What did you eat? What did I eat? Yeah, what did you have? I had a I had a ham sandwich and a bowl of uh, uh, honey bunch of us oh, of oats. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna make it. Oh, low blow. Yeah, man, don't come after my speech. <laughs> when, did you, when did you have your my cereal? man tripped over his tongue? Yeah, <laughs> when did you have your cereal, Jeff? This morning. Oh, and then yeah. I had my sandwich in the, for lunchtime. Like a little boy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, little boy. Yeah. Eat a donut. Yeah. Did you, know, you get Late your cereal? Late eating donuts. Did you, get your, did you cut your, did you cut hey. your crust off your cereal? <laughs> Reel it in. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? You cut your crust off your sandwich? No, I left the crust on. And I used oat milk for my cereal. And last night I had a whole bunch of chicken and asparagus. Oh, cool. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Suck on that. Pea and green, this guy. Yeah. That's right. What was the chicken uh, seasoned with? Salt and pepper. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I have to eat because Chelsea can't eat anything with any spices because she's having a Crohn's flare. Oh, Crohn's is the most annoying disease. We've said it on the pod a lot, but it's very annoying. People with Crohn's, you're annoying as hell. Makes you real farty. Uh, All right. Do they stink? Uh, she makes you eat your dinner, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I eat her dinner. Damn. I go dinner time already. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Jeff goes, we got to get Seth over here. Yeah. Mmm, asparagus. All right. You know Jeff does that? Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, let's it's see. Disgusting. How often do you cook, Matt? Uh, and co- what's the best dish you've made? Couple. T- I cook a couple times a week. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and the best dish I make is... 
I make really good burritos. Oh, um, burrito. burrito maker. And spaghetti limon. I learned how to make spaghetti limon recently. Okay. Yeah. What's that, lemon? Lemon spaghetti. Yeah. I used to, there's a place in the East Village. I think it's tightly East Village. Oh, yeah. Know. Weren't you, did, who told me? Were you telling me that you were making it? Somebody told me about spaghetti limon. Probably, yeah. We, I think we were playing Fortnite or something and we, and we talked about it. What is it? It's like spaghetti limon. It's just like you make pasta and yeah. then... Uh, you put, you know, uh, Parmesan cheese and then lemon uh, over it, and you kind of mix it all. It's like, yeah, it's good. It's just like lemon spaghetti, but it's really, really good. And Little Frankie's has it, and I was like, I bet I can make this. And I uh, got this stuff and, you know, like zested up lemons and garlic and all that and made it. You it can comes make out it. good? It's great. You can make it. It's really good and really easy. Have you had it? <clears throat> uh, no, but I've been to Little Frankie's. You had it? Have you had it there? No. It's the only thing. I've been to Little Frankie's. Uh, I've lived in New York nine years. I've been there so many times. Only ever gotten spaghetti limon. It's where Mike and I had our first date. Little Frankie's? Mm, Little Frankie's, yeah. That's good. It's like, uh, I, get, I don't know if it's the East Village, technically. Avenue uh, A, or uh, it's in it First and A or something? Yeah, something like that. Oh, maybe I'll go to Little Frankie's then. <laughs> go, it's great. It's good. They have it's Parmesan, cash only. They have Parmesan crusted asparagus, which is incredible. I do like asparagus. Fried calamari. That's nice. That's also good. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. I'll yeah. check out. I'm going to write down as a note for myself. But I make really good burritos, and I prep burrito. I meal prep burritos sometimes, because yeah. I make just a lot of it, and then I roll them and freeze some of them. That's pretty good. I make good breakfast. I'm a good breakfast maker. You're a good breakfast guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you How do got... you like your eggs, Matthew? Um, Over medium, uh, or fried, or scrambled. I like eggs in any way. He's a big wow. egg guy. Yeah, you got to be good at making breakfast if you're bringing these ladies home and teaching them stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spaghetti limo at night, breakfast burrito in the morning. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, what a treat. With a side of sausage. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Matthew. Unbelievable. <laughs> See, he's going to get himself yeah, canceled. Yeah, that cost him some points there. Oh, no. Hey, that's the first thing yeah. that's done in all episode. I'm all right with that. Yeah. It was a little too funny. Yeah, yeah, no funny talk. <laughs> if anyone's going to be crude, it's Tim. That's right. And he is knocking it out of the park. <laughs> and I'll give him a lot of the pork in the morning. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm being more crude about it. Oh, uh, that's not. <laughs> it's more crude. His was nice and cute. It was like a cute thing. Yeah? You're talking about porking these bitches in the morning? Oh, I see. Pork, you were talking about the act. All right. Yeah. What about uh, I'll scramble their eggs? Mm. Huh? There With my go. big ass pork sausage. <laughs> Ew. I hope they're not Jewish because I'm porking them. <laughs> Shut They're not. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your pie hole. Um, what would you change about high school? Mm. Um, do you mean as a concept or for me personally? Uh, I thought you... there was more to that question. You yeah. really read it like there was more. <laughs> what would you change? Hold on. There is more, but I can't see what I wrote here. What would you change about high school? Uh, oh, I wrote down Matt's attitude. Oh, what, what, what would you change about your high school attitude? Your attitude that you had in high school. What would you change about it? Oh. There we go. We got there. Oh. What the fuck? Right? Like, what was your attitude in high school? Mine was, you know, I was, I was friends with everybody. You know, everybody was allowed in. I didn't have a particular group. And so what would you change about that? I would make it more specific. Oh. Cut some of these losers out. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of duds. Cut the <laughs> cut the chaff from the weed early. That's good. That's too good. too soft and friendly. Um, I don't know. You know, people bullied me a lot in high school, and I think if I could go back, I would have tried to fight them more. Oh, oh. stand up for yourself. I, I kind of would have. I think I, I, I think I would have stood up for myself more. You know, I do have a th uh, I do have one thing I regret uh, not doing in high school. Is one time uh, I was walking to class, uh -huh. and uh, I was the only one. I was in between periods, and I was the only one in there. And you I were on your period. I was yeah yeah yeah. Jeffrey. I was pissed as hell. Um, <laughs> and I remember I was at my locker, and I looked to the right, and there was a door, and there was a duck at the door. Like a real living duck outside. Should have brought it inside. And I was like, I literally had the thought. Where I was like, let that duck in. Yeah. <laughs> I let the duck inside. I go, it'd be funny to let a duck loose in the school. Yeah. And then I didn't do it, and uh, that's one of the only regrets I have in high school. That's what you've been in high yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. That is. That I mean, and not. I guess that and not standing up for myself. That's that's an adorable regret. Yeah. I'd have brought that duck in. I think it would be yeah. so funny to let a duck loose. Get a piece of bread from your locker. Bring it. Get a duck in there. Yeah. Bring a duck to school. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I, yeah, I would, there were some people that really mean to me where I was like, I don't know why I didn't just fight them. Just fight. If you're in high school, if somebody's being a dick to you, punch them in the face. Cause it's high school. It doesn't matter. Right. All right. Yeah. That's right. your opportunity to fucking fight people. You can't fight saying. people as adults. 
Fight him in high school. You can fight high Don't bring a gun to school. Adult. Just beat him with a fucking fist. Oh, there we go. Fight. There fight them. 1950s love. Dudes grab. I would have guys that were in like Carhartts bully me, grab me. And I'm like, why didn't I just punch them? I could have just punched them. Wait, well, how'd they grab you? By the neck. Oh, like the back on the neck grab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Did you ever get that? You probably did it. No, I never did that. That was I'm. I'm. What am I grabbing a dude by the neck for? I bet you make him try to blow me or something. Is that what you did? No, (laughs) not really. (laughs) Only a couple times. No, Uh, I wasn't. I never really grabbed people. I we would go and take the pick the lockers up and turn them around. That's funny. That's fun. Towards the wall. Oh, that's That's, fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. All right. We would take big big trash cans full of trash. And we'd yell bombs away, and we'd throw them into classrooms and get trashed. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. We were doing fun stuff. We would have been friends in high school. Yeah, that's cool. I was friends with almost everybody, except for the cool kids and the uh, most of the other ones. Yeah? Yeah. I was friends with a little bit of everybody. And then I would grab people by the back of their necks. Yeah. You know? And, and I'd, I'd go, like, not you. Yeah, I'd be like, you be my friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh uh, I just, you like me. Yeah, I'd force <laughs> it on them. Like, you better like me. And they'd go, oh, yes, sir. And they'd <laughs> they call you, sir. Yes, and, yeah. then, and then what'd you do? Like, yeah. your and they'd be like, Ooh, thank you. I'd tell them thank you and yeah. send them on yeah. their way. We'll pat on the butt. Yes, my 15 year old sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, where you're at right now, what are you ready for? Mm. What are you ready for right now to happen? What are oh. you ready? Oh, I mean, I think I'm, I'm the best I've ever been at comedy personally. I think I've been doing a lot of sets lately. I've been writing really well. I've been, you know, a lot of people that have seen me have said really positive things to say. And there are people whose opinions I respect and people whose opinions that are, like, nice to have. There was a lot of times when I was moving to New York and the only people that believed in me, I talked about this before with other people, but the only people that would believe in me, I thought I was gonna never going to succeed in comedy because the only people that believed in me were the most insane people I've ever met. Mm, you know what I mean? Tough. Where it's yes. like only lunatics. The only people that ever told me they were like, "You're going to be good at this," would be like, they'd be like, "Hey, I think you're really talented and you're really funny, and I think you're going to go really far in this business." And I'd be like, "Thank you so much." And then they would go and like yell at a pigeon. And <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. "Fuck!" Oh, the crazies, now yeah. I'm getting regular people. Yeah, now I'm getting people it. that are like, like people are actually starting to see me do well, and it's it's good. So I think as far as comedy goes, I think I'm I'm ready. For you're it. ready for some comedy success. Yeah, which I think I'm starting to slowly get, which it feels nice because I've been doing this for a long time with no success and uh it's fucking a nightmare oh uh, yeah. yeah tim knows about that yeah. yeah yeah buddy you're doing better than you think you are <laughs> thanks man i mean that we oh, moved we both nice. moved here you know we started together and you're doing better than you think you are and i had that this thought the other day where it's like you know just this is gonna sound corny but just living in new york is an accomplishment just being able to be here millions of people around the world wonder what it's like to live here they want they come here it's yeah. fucking awesome. Do you know somebody that couldn't handle living in New York? Uh, I could. I, I, I could write a book. I could write a book on the people who couldn't live here. One people specifically. Damn. And he knows who he is. Well, is it, have we had them on the pod? Yeah. One of your former guests is yeah. an enemy of mine. Who could it be? So interesting. All right. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Living here, I guess some people. It's just hard can't to do. do it. Yeah. It's hard to do. Yeah. So you've succeeded there. So yeah, you got to give I, yourself more credit. Yeah. You got to find when you're living here. Finance told me he goes. Yeah. You got to always have some kind of hustle. And mine is having a successful girlfriend. Oh yeah. There you go. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You got. I love her very much. Um. Let's see. If you got stuck with a kid, how would you handle it? Fuck, that's my fear. Oh, yeah. That is like, that's the thing I'm afraid of most. I've been afraid of that my whole life. Man, I'm pregnant. Oh, oh my you God. Be oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, my, my blood's ra- my, my heart rate's raising right now. Man, it's me, the fetus inside the woman. <laughs> yeah. She, I love you, Daddy. She swallowed a phone. I'm going to Peru. I'll see you later. <laughs> No, that's my truly my greatest fear. I used to have I would be in high school and my girlfriend would be like, I think I might be pregnant and I'm like in the lunchroom just like my life is over. My life is over. But you know what's the best part about a pregnancy scare is? Mm-hmm. It's like you walk into the edge of a cliff and you're about to be like they're going to kick me in and then at the last minute they're like you're free to go. The rush of being not a father is worth a pregnancy scare. They're so scary that hearing the I'm not pregnant, oh, it's like the best drug in the world. I don't think I've ever had one. Oh my god. Uh, I've had so many. Dude, this girl used to do it to me so much that I was just like, then just have a baby. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're playing like, chicken with this woman. It happened like I bet nine you won't. times to the point where I was like, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, well, maybe you're pregnant. I don't know. I go, cool, I guess. And then she goes, 
something came out of me and it was big and it's in the toilet and it's disgusting. I go, take a picture of it and send it to me. She goes, I already flushed it. I goes, okay, yeah, yeah. I bet that happened. Yeah. <laughs> You're a monster. Yeah. I'm not a monster. She kept lying about it to yeah. get attention no, from me. No, she yeah, that's wanted to show up. you a turd. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I got a sick ass turd in here. Tim's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know what though? Uh, yeah, that's my biggest fear is getting someone pregnant. But Yeah, how would uh, you handle it? Oh, I don't know. I I would fucking lose my mind. I would uh, panic. I would be pa- I would panic because it wouldn't be with. I mean, as of now, it wouldn't be with somebody that I'm like. Well, let's build a life together. Mm-hmm. Um, I can. Uh, you know, I think the ladies that I hook up with are pretty liberal. So I think we'd be dumping that baby out. Oh, uh, okay. You know, right. which I think would be great. Um, well, hold on. Let me hold on. I gotta check my parlay. If this hits. You're getting 500 bucks Venmo do you real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well let's see. What about Are abortions this? still $500? I've never uh, I don't know. Is that reference Oh. I with I, inflation they're 550. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't have no idea. Um which is terrible that we don't know cuz as men we should. We should, we should know. know. Um so if you got hold up, but if you got stuck with a kid, how would you handle it? So at least just give me this one, would you? Are you staying? Are you helping? You're running? You hiding? I'm not going to. I mean, I can't. You can't run. She uses I'm not her woman's run. right to choose, and she goes, we ain't flushing this one. We're not, yeah. we're, if we're keeping it, I guess I'm around. You're staying around. Yeah, I'm not going to run. I mean, what a piece of shit. He stays you know? around. As a man, as a as a kid who did not have a dad, oh. I'm not going to repeat the cycle. Oh, Papa, that's great. Papa, let me sleep on the heated mattress. Because <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I, spaghetti. and I'll go, you sleep on this side, and I'll sleep on this side. There's two switches. We can control our sides differently. <laughs> This can is I, an expensive one. Can I wake up Uncle Roommates? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Roommates. <laughs> yeah. No, I think here's the thing, though. I think I would be a good dad. Um, I'm, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I, here's the thing, though. Is I would like to find somebody that I love and that I can have a child with eventually. I don't want to have a child with anybody. I don't want to get somebody pregnant. Right. That's the thing. is, it's like That's why pregnancy scares are scary, because they're never with somebody you want to be with forever. Yeah, you're stuck with yeah. somebody. You're stuck you with somebody. You're like, I don't even think I like you that much. Mm-hmm. And now you're like, well, we're tied together for life. Yeah, you have a little thing that's, that glues you together. That's why pregnancy scares aren't scary. They're fucking terrifying. Um, all right. So you, but you stay around. He's a good man. Yeah, you got to do it. That's good. I'm happy. I'm proud of you, man. You got to do it. Yeah, I would, I would skip town. Fanduels be garnished in wages too. You know, you see Uh, that Fanduels taking winnings. If you have child support, they're taking some of your winnings and giving them, if you have child support payments. Do they really? Oh yeah. Hilarious. That's cool. And I'm not letting anybody dip their wick in my basket. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff, we're at 52. Oh, are we? Oh, okay. This one's been good. It's been flying by. Yeah, it has been flying by. Um, let's see. What was your biggest struggle with sobriety? Uh, n- not doing cocaine. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And more than anything else, cocaine. Well, just not doing anything. I mean, it's just staying sober was my biggest struggle. Like, that was my biggest struggle was not drinking and doing drugs. I wanted to do it. I still want to do it so bad every day. Sometimes I have a bad day and I'm like, I could just do it. I just what, do it. What about uh, like in what social settings? Social settings are fun. No, I don't think social settings are too as bad as they used to be because now I'm like, I got no problems leaving. I got no qualms with walking away. I got no problems either seeing people all fucked up and being like, I don't want to do that. That but, is kind of the thing. Once you realize you can just walk away whenever you want, it makes yeah. it easier. Oh, 100%. You got but an Irish goodbye. The hardest part, like that stuff's not that bad, but the hardest part is like if I'm having a really bad day and I'm feeling really bad about myself and I'm feeling really bad about everything else, it's hard not to just be alone and be like, I could walk into that bar, I could get a drink, and nobody would know that it, I'm relapsing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, yeah. I could just walk in, get a drink, nobody would know but me. But then that's the thing is it's like I would know, and I'm the only one that matters. So, oh, okay. So the, I guess I mean, the biggest struggle, it's all on you. It's just you yeah. that's got to keep watch. Jeff and I matter a little. Yeah. It's um. true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just like not doing drugs and drinking because, like I said, sometimes you just have a bad day. And, I mean, yeah, you have a bad I'm so day. I'm so Go buy a bag of coke, and then you feel like you're the greatest man that's ever lived. Yeah, and that's the thing though that keeps me from doing it is because I know the. It's like I imagine it's like jerking off. You know, it's like it's you get that immediate release, and you're like, ah, oh, amazing. I feel incredible, and then the immediate down like come down is you i would just feel miserable i've worked so hard to stay sober i've got 19 months sober the minute that it ended i would be like i, I would be i would feel so bad oh, and yeah. that's not worth it 
Mm, okay. You pull up your pants, you open the door, you're in a McDonald's. <laughs> That's right, again. <laughs> They're always in McDonald's. Are you addicted to jerking off, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> the way he said that. The way, I mean, once you lose an addiction, you gain another one, really. So. Yeah, is that your new addiction? No. Not jerking off? I'm not, I'm not jerking off anymore. Just I'm not doing any less, either. Oh, uh, <laughs> right, man. Give him, some, give him a minus, though. No, <laughs> no, boy. No, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. take my precious points. That'll caught you. It's being funny. Uh, <laughs> let's see. That wasn't even that funny. No, um, no. That's why it sucked. Yep. That was, <laughs> that was my favorite My favorite part of the new Attell special. It's just a throwaway line where he goes, calm down. That joke sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, I just watched that last night. It was great. It was really funny. Uh, if you could fight one celebrity, who are you fighting? Oh, you got to fuck some celebrity <laughs> yeah. up. I got to fight him? Yeah, you got to fight a celebrity. Um, who are you fighting? I'd pick Peter Dinklage myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> Easy win for the kid. I could have sworn you were going to go uh, Chalamet again. No, nah, I don't know if I could beat him up. <laughs> He's in good shape from these movies. Yeah, he could. He would just outrun you until you fell over, and he just kick you to death. Right, I think I'd <laughs> fucking. Kick you to death. But I think I could fuck up Peter Dinklage. Uh, even Peter him. Dinklage, who threw a chicken wing at Jeff Asmus. Yeah, yeah, famous story. <laughs> I don't think I don't really know. I don't have any problems with any celebrities. You, you don't have a, to have a problem yeah, with them. I don't on, have a problem. One. Listen, I don't have a problem with Peter Dinklage. Yeah, I just know I could beat the fuck out of right. him. Right, I'd pick Anne Hathaway. Yeah, <laughs> I don't sucker know. puncher. I'd pick Te- <laughs> I'd pick Temple Grandin myself. I don't Temple Grandin. She's the <laughs> autistic lady that made up that machine that hugs cows to keep them calm. What? <laughs> She's dead. What? <laughs> celebrity. I said celebrity. She's a celebrity. They made That's an not HBO. a celebrity. They made an HBO movie about her. Claire Danes plays her. Uh, all I, right. I'd beat the shit out of Claire Danes, too. <laughs> I'd, I'd fight. Uh, well, what are we doing? Like a, is it going to be like a televised fight, or is it going to be just like a we meet on the street and rumble? It'll be, uh, it'll be one, one crappy phone footage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, it's on World Star. Yeah, someone catches it on their phone. Me, it would, the I would say me and Jim, me. I want to fight Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Yeah. Wow. Because he's the, like a fight. He's he's like a, gonna get ready to fight. Yeah, yeah he, he'll like beat the shit out of you. Yeah, like, he would beat the shit out of me, but people, I mean, it'd get a bunch of views. Yeah, I would get a bunch of views. Yeah. Uh, imagine, like imagine me and Jake Paul. Me being, like, it'd be like uh, your that when your wrestling story in high school. We, oh, we'd yeah. be like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, and he would laugh about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be like, I'm about to fuck you up, and he would be like, Fuck this guy. <laughs> and then he'd hit me, and I'd be like, Remember when I said I was gonna fuck you up? Yeah, it'd be exactly. And then yeah. we'd be friends afterwards. Yeah, and then we'd be friends. Dude, I still think me beating up Peter Dinklage would get a fucking shit yeah. ton of views. Yeah, I'd get a lot of views too. Yeah, yeah, but not for a good reason. They'd be like, <laughs> Man assaults loved beloved actor. Yeah, I'll pick one. Why not, Bruce Willis? Oh no! <laughs> Joke. Oh what? my god. <laughs> You are on one. Damn. <laughs> Surprise, Bruce. <laughs> Fucking clock him one. Yeah, I'm like, hey, remember that movie you were in? Yeah. Punch. Here's, uh, looks like here's you, the sixth sense, bitch, and then you hit him. Yeah, <laughs> looks like you die easy. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> terrible. Oh, God. Cuffs, put them on. Me. Yeah, yeah, take them to jail. Uh, Rikers ain't far. Let's see. Uh, does a woman's body count matter to you? Why or why not? It, oh, yeah. it does not matter. It does to me. not. All right. You, you don't care at all. What happens before She's we? At Ten thousand. Yeah. All right, what am I? She's gonna... like I've 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 slammed I've I've let ten thousand guys pork me. She says. Yeah, yeah. Matt does not care. I don't care. Does what what care. happens before we meet is none of my business. Oh, it's beautiful. Five hundred in a night. She says. It's, it's not about the number. It's about the upkeep. <laughs> She's. <laughs> She says billions, yeah. billions of people. Well, that's almost just everyone on the planet. I've seen almost all of their hogs. <laughs> she says, "That's I mean, that's imp- that's impressive. I mean, she's probably seen mine." Yeah. Yeah. Was, no, I don't care. All right, does not care. All right. I've dated uh, women with OnlyFans and strippers, and that doesn't. I'm I'm pro whatever you need. Um. Uh, let's see. Then uh, a couple more. There were a couple more questions that were done. One more, and then one more. Um, Sounds like two. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a couple. All yeah. right. Uh, what does gambling do for you? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's word. fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of it's it's it combines a few things that I really like. I love sports. I've always liked sports. Okay. So it takes sports, which I love. Um, it 
is it gives me something to do, kind of a hobby to follow. Um, I can look up, you know, I'm very diligent if, with my research, so it gives me something to read, and I look at trends, and I, I, you know, I just learn about players and things like that. I think that's fun. Oh, okay. Uh, it kind of it scratches the itch of <laughs> it's. I'm not addicted to gambling, but it does scratch the itch of like drugs and alcohol, where I get a little bit of a rush from it. Oh, there it is. And then, um, and the thing that really ties it together is it's a hobby that I am honestly kind of good at, and it and it does and has made me money. So it's like as opposed to drinking and alcohol where it was like costing me everything, I'm actually making a little bit of money. I've paid for some of my tattoos with, with gambling. I just paid off my credit card. Um, yeah, you are up. You're, you know, it's flush right now. It's like knock on wood. Things are, it's, it's a fun thing. I really, that Norm McDonald gambling addiction is a disease, but it's the only disease where you can make lots and lots of money. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, I'm going to watch this basketball any game anyway. Let me try and research and read about it. And it also, I watch this all the time because I gamble a lot. And I don't gamble a ton of money all the time. But I watch it in people's eyes when I'm watching a basketball game with somebody. Mm. And they find out that I have money on a game. Their whole mood switches and you can see it in their eyes where they get a little bit of runoff of like, okay, now this game has some stakes and they get to enjoy. Yeah, yeah now you're rooting for I somebody. see that happen all the time. Matt, Matt will text me bets that he has. Uh-huh. And Michael will be like, what are you doing? I go, I'm fucking sweating Matt's bet. Yeah. I'm fucking sweating. I want my boy to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I've seen it live in a bar where people will find out and then immediately they're, they're not going to gamble themselves, but they want the rush of it and they get it like secondhand from me. Yeah, they get some of that rush with you. Yeah, so... Who do you got? Who do you got taking the? Uh, was it the March Madness? I I, I haven't bet. Um, Is it Gonzaga? I have. I took Purdue to win it all. Oh I, yeah. I have Marquette winning everything. That's a <gasps> Marquette. Yeah. Michigan school. Yeah. I no, have, it isn't. Oh. It's not. I don't no, know. it's in Wisconsin. It's I like Milwaukee, their head coach. Wisconsin. Oh, that sucks. You like Shaka Smart? I like Shaka Smart. I remember watching him years ago at VCU, and I liked him then, and I like him now. Yeah. Mm. He's a Brad. Uh, Brad Stevens. Stevens type. Yeah, yeah. I like him. So I put Marquette. It's okay. a bold take. I don't think they're going to probably do it. But I also, I'm not betting on March Madness really because it's too, college is, I gambled a little bit on it last week and it's too hard. The spreads are too wild. It's too yeah. many big swings. It's too hard to, to gamble on. So. Oh, okay. I hit, I only hit one in the first round. I bet the, all the number one seeds and the number two seeds with the spread on Saturday. Oh, that's fun. Or on, no, 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 on, uh, Thursday, whatever the second day was. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But <laughs> I hit that one because they there. they all covered because I they always they normally always cover in the first. Oh, round. Okay. Do you know my alma mater was in there? Oh yeah, Oakland University. You went to you Oakland, went to Oakland University. University? Mm-hmm. I dropped did. out after one semester. <laughs> oh. We're OU, the Golden Bears. <laughs> he learned the song though. He didn't uh, go there very long with him. Oh. <laughs> hey, you got until I would have believed you. <laughs> I don't think you went to Oakland University either. Yeah, I went to Oakland University. Where is it? It's in Michigan. It's in uh, Rochester Hills. Oh, I thought it's, it was in Oakland. He's California. right. Everyone thinks it's Oakland, California. It's not. It's a uh, Michigan school. He's uh, right. He's right. It's because uh, of Oakland County. <laughs> who um, cares who even ever gives a shit all right you did a little bit your eyes perked up i cared but i was mad that i was wrong so i lashed yeah. out you were wrong king of donut mountain it's called gaslighting honey oh you wouldn't even know what gaslighting means if it ate your donut mountain it's called being a freaking prick honey uh all right matt final question what stand-ups got you into comedy who, who are, are your guys, guys? <laughs> Matthew. i'm a fan you know what's funny is uh, I watched, I think it was on the last episode, I knew that it was from WTF, and he didn't, and I watched it happen. I, oh. Every time you said it, I knew exactly what it was from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. because we're students of comedy, and Jeff just is kind of a casual. I was going to say... Well, no, that, I'm just talent. That's because, <laughs> well, Mark Maron is one of my guys. You like Mark Maron? I like Mark Maron, because I started stand-up comedy around the time he started his podcast. Yes. Uh, we both started, a little f- fact for the listening audience... A week apart in you Indianapolis. And a week apart? Yep. It's true. Oh, really? Yeah. We're like then Joe Rogan. What's your Ro- excuse? We're like Joe Rogan and Fitz Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, what's my excuse? Yeah, I'm just a killer that's just un, un- underappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> the man can save himself. Yeah. Uh, Mark Maron. I like Society's Mark Maron a lot. I've met him a couple times. He's very nice. Oh, uh, nice. I feel like uh, I, because I started comedy around that time, I feel like I have like, I mean, he doesn't know who I am, but I feel like I have kind of a connection with him that is uh, very important. There's a clip of me and him talking on YouTube that 
Uh, oh, I've seen this clip. A lot of people have stopped me at comedy shows and been like, I've seen you on – I saw you somewhere. And then they remember and they're like, you're in that clip with Mark Maron. And oh, I, wow. And I, that's happened to me a couple times where people recognize me from this clip with Mark Maron. So I just kind of feel like I'm tied to him a little bit in that way. And I, I like him a lot. I mean, I, he's, like I said, very nice every time I met him. So I'd say Mark Maron. I love Conan a lot. Mm, um, oh, yeah, I great. love Conan. And then uh, Daniel Tosh. I remember watching Daniel Tosh a lot. Have what, you been what, watching his new pod? I love his new podcast. It's very funny. It's really, really good. Tosh is great. Yeah. I remember watching him do stand up and being like, oh my God, I'll never be able to do that. Um, and it gave me something to strive towards because he, his specials are so great. I saw Tosh in Indianapolis at the Marat Theater. I get out, my phone had been blowing up. The Pacers put up 47 points in the third quarter, and people were texting me. About <laughs> oh, wow. Mike right. Dunleavy had popped. The off. Dunleavy pop. All right. Yeah, I would say those are my, I would say those are probably my so three. You got Daniel Tosh, Conan Mark Marin, the three solid choices. Is, it, is that our first Tosh? Can't it might. Be. No, maybe it is. Maybe it is our first Tosh. It might actually be. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see if I can see him real quick. I think it might be. Ooh, that's gonna that might bump you up actually, because you are negative. All right, let's see. Your- negative. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's see. You want to fight Jake Paul? That's fine. You know, you know, you could have totally taken down Bruce Willis. Uh, let's see. Survivor's Guild. That was you let Tim do his best riff of his entire life. Uh, well, you know. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes you're on, and sometimes you're really on. The man was led to genius water. Uh, let's see. Peru, I hope you find her back there. Uh, beta spray, that gave me a chance with a hilarious rib. Uh, let's see, you were funny a couple times, though, so I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10, Matt. Damn, good score, That's man. That's pretty good. Pretty good, I'll give you, you an 8. You like were that. very open, but a little too funny. Yeah, there was a couple times where you were humorous. Yeah, I couldn't turn it off. So you get to do your plugs. <laughs> All right, where can people find you? See ya. Plug it up. Um, um, Matt Beckus sucks on Instagram. Matt Beckus on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter too much, but Matt Beckus sucks on Instagram mainly. Matt Beckus sucks on uh, TikTok. Um, I have a show in the East Village. If you're ever in New York, uh, I run a show at my friend's vintage store. Go to Select Stock, SelectStock.com. Get some T-shirts, and it's a great vintage store. So we do a show there once a month, and then Nick is just great. He uh, owns a store in Boulder and Bloomington, and here. So support him. Uh, and then I'm opening for Jeff Arcuri a lot. Um, so those don't need to be those played. shows those are sold out. Are sold out so <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, just follow me on social media and, and share my videos and uh, support me because I need it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Tim, what do you what do you look at your calendar? Yeah, I got right. one date. <laughs> Check oh. me out headlining the White Lion Brewery in Springfield, Massachusetts, May the fourth. May the fourth be with us all as we watch me headline the White Lion Brewery. Um, also, you can check out. Uh, we have the live show coming up, the live advice show at the Gutter on April fourteenth at eight p.m. So, if you are here in New York City and you would like to check out the Great Hang live advice show, it is April fourteenth at the Gutter. It's a great show. It's I did it. It was fun. great. Yep, Matt. Did great it. episode. Jeff did it, and no one came to the show, and I felt bad. You were supposed to be in the same episode as me. But you were out of town. Oh, really? I yeah, think so. You had, yeah. ag- you had agreed, and then li- earlier in the day, you were like, I can't come because I'm not here. Oh, yeah. A real fucked up move. Were there people at the show? Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, I should have done that one. <laughs> uh, oh, April 26th is the next good stuff at the vintage store. I, for- and, I forgot that. Uh, yeah, so check out uh, uh, good stuff April 26th, <laughs> and then follow me at hot underscore comic 69 and listen to the Great Ink Podcast. And of course, if you guys like this show, you're going to love the Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions where you can submit your own tough question that has to be asked on the show and you can ask Jeff a tough question that he has to answer. Yep, and I'm always at New York, Jeffrey. Goodbye.